hey guys welcome back on my channel today we are traveling so I decided to go with a sweatshirt and some shorts to be comfortable I'm taking you with me let's go so right now we are at the airport and there is nobody it's empty maybe people don't like to travel on Wednesday but for someone who doesn't like crowded places, I'm okay with that. Our airplane was so late. The airport updated the information almost at the moment we were supposed to take off. But this is what traveling is sometimes. A lot of adventures. And we took off. I will see you when uh, we arrived at Budapest. This is Budapest at night. It is so beautiful. Be prepared because this video is gonna have a lot of food. First, we decide to do some shopping. I didn't film it, but I find a cute little bag at this shop called Reserve. And of course, wherever I am, I drink bubble tea. Like here, you can't see me without bubble tea. This place is called the Octagon. I'm glad we travel in the beginning of September because the weather is still nice in the evening. We walk a bit and pass by the National State Opera to find this cute little restaurant near the Basilica. Langos is a fried dough with sour cream and cheese and you can add whatever topping you want. It's so good! Today we decided to go to this cute little town near Budapest called Saint-André. I'll let you see how beautiful this village is. The only thing that isn't cute in this little town are the stairs. They are deadly. Our next stop was based on a personal request. It is a confectionery. I am obsessed with sugar and this place is famous for its delicious dessert. So naturally, I had to try them out. It was so hard to pick one so I decided to take two cakes. The big one was a caramel, chocolate and palinka cake. The small one was an apricot cake. The next restaurant we visit is in the middle of nowhere, yet it is super popular. The dishes were amazing. Mine was pork ribs with fries. We also tried goulash and my boyfriend chose schnitzel with potatoes wages. And we finished the day with these very cool shots. Today, we are going to see the Baton Lake. There is a lot of cities around it, so we are only going to see the most popular one. Let's go! Of course, a good day starts with a good breakfast.
After the market, we decided to take a look at the lake. The Balaton Lake is the biggest one in Europe. Here, you can barely see the end. All this exercise made me so hungry. We took a break to eat fries and pickles. And we went back to a confectionery because, you know, sweet tooth. And I picked the local apricot cake. My boyfriend chose an Hungarian Il Flotant. It was really, really good. Both cakes were super good. I was not done with sugar. So we made a stop to the famous Astoria Cafe. The inside is really nice. I took a hot chocolate and my boyfriend being Hungarian choose a cafe with liquor inside. We finished the day the best way with burgers. Next day, we met friends on this beautiful day and we took the occasion to try Starbucks new drinks, you know, pumpkins and stuff. Then we went to dinner at the Slovakian restaurant. As you can see, the entire restaurant is made of wood. And they needed to be sure of it. Inside, the wood and the pieces of fur keep very, very cozy vibes. It's like you are at home. I decided to try the national dish, which is dumplings with sheep cheese and flakes of smoked pork fat. Boyfriend chose the same, but he added a piece of sheep that was so tender. The next day, we took a trip to Mishkolt. There is a thermal bath that I was so excited to see and I can't wait to show you. I love this place because it feels like you undergo a mental and physical therapy. This is funny because these caves, like a lot of thermal baths, were used for medical purposes. And now I understand why. It is really, really relaxing and I highly recommend you to do it. there a large part of the afternoon and after that we were starving so we decided to stop at this cute little restaurant decided to give Hungarian goulash a shot. The only one I ate was the one the father of my boyfriend made for us. After trying this one, I have to say that this was a bit of a bit light in taste, but don't get me wrong, it was good. I picked the paprika and it was super good. My boyfriend chose smoked pork knuckle with vegetables. Then we decided to take a look inside the restaurant while waiting for the dessert. As you can see, the interior design is pure Hungarian style. It's so cute. For dessert, I chose cottage cheese with dry fruit, cinnamon and cream. And my boyfriend prefer an Hungarian chocolate cake with whipped cream. I 
didn't realize it, but the trip is coming to an end and I am so sad. But we decided to make the best of this last moment, so we went to Central Market to do some last minute errands. <laughs> my favorite Hungarian meat, grilled kolbas and liver pudding. I simply love it, but I recommend it if you like meat and 